Hi everyone, it's Kirsten Make Pies YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be going through the season view off the Adelaide, no, off the Gold Coast Sun, sorry. Now, if you are turning Kirsten Make Pies, welcome, like, comment. But if you're new to the channel and you're watching this for the first time, like, comment, and subscribe. Means the world to me as well on the way to 200 subs. Now, the, Ad the Gold Coast Suns, I had them 12th on my season's predictions. And honestly, I thought they, you know, they start off the season so well and they, they, they drift away. But they've had a couple, I feel, like really good wins. Now, I'm going to rake them out of 10 for, the, for those who are new. And I'll talk about the season, you know, some of the big wins that they've had on the positive side. Um, this football club, since starting, like, 20, 2011, 2011, um, started off the first game was against Carlton, and since then, they missed out on finals, they've been on the bottom of the ladder, they're a sick football club who, I think they've got some good kids, like, Anderson, Rao, um, Max King, or Ben, ben King, or, or Max King, whatever you want to call it. It's, sometimes it's so difficult for that, but just feel like the talent that they've got. Um, Drow Hard, Brown Tyrone, I think he's been a great player. Drow Rich going down as a Ruckman, I think that's really hurt their season because of that. But I do feel like the Suns are going to, you know, need to be better than where they are on the ladder. Look, injuries happen to every team and it can affect more than most. But when you're a team like the Gold Coast Suns, you get senior players in. You, you should be looking to start performing and playing fun football. And I think. If it's not this year, when? Um, that's the frustration that I have with the Suns. As well on top of that, because I feel like we need to see the Suns playing in um, final series. And again, I promise you, like, I was talking to a friend last night. Even I said to him, like, I want to see teams like Carlton, the Gold Coast Suns, really do well and make finals because that's what's best for the competition, yeah? It's, you don't want to see Carlton, Collingwood, Richmond down for too long. Even the Gold Coast Suns, you want to see them winning that premiership and even the Giants who have been in the final series and missed out last year. Um, you want to see that consistency. Like, you really do. And I, I think... The teams that have beaten, <laughs> I, I think there are decent wins. <laughs> they really are. Like, uh, who, who would have thought that we get to see a go Coast and Richmond game at Marvel Stadium where, where the Suns beat them and they played really well? Except for Paul Kicking in that game. Um, they beat my team, um, Collingwood, which is. The, the reason why that you want to come to the club and and watch them, but it's just so tough. I think to beat Carlton as well and to make him play at their level, I think that's good. Now, I don't overrate the Gold Coast Suns at all. I think they've got a good list with a bunch of kids they can, can play. Finals and grand finals. I can accept that. I, I can really accept the fact that this, this is a team. I think they've brought in the right senior players to, to help out. I want to see Clarkson helping them out. And not as in the coach. Not as in the coach. I think as a senior assistant, 
or perhaps maybe a director of coaching just to help out Stuttu. I think with Raul Anderson, um, two Camille Miller's the one for me that stands out before them. Like he's an absolute gun. David Swallow, when when he's playing, um, you always got these <laughs> type of plays around them, you born in Brad and Ellis, you know, born in some of um, ex recent players as well. Zach Smith is the one that came back from, originally from the Gold Coast Suns to Dawn, and then came back to the Gold Coast Suns. So I think, for me, that's a really good um, start, I think. But you got to see the consistency in the way that you play. And... I want to see the Gold Coast Suns not being on oh, now on the ladder. You know, 16th on the ladder. I want them to slip to 12th, pushing for our finals. But just that on percentage. And then leaping into the eight. Because I think with the right people around to support Stuart and I think he's done a really good job so far. Um... I think you have to, to lose against the power, lose against the Lions, yeah. Um, they, they were in front of the Brisbane Lions until they came back, so I think there are positives there. I think they need to run out the games more. I feel if they're going to do that, I think this is a good chance. I think that the season that I see the Gold Coast Suns in, I want to see them playing really well and to beat their expectations as well um, on top of that but it is what it is realistically you know it's a, it's, it's a tough gig coaching the go-kart sons not knowing what's going to happen so I really do feel that next year should be the year that they need to target it and they need to target really well in the free agency um as much as possible because we don't want to see them down for too long. You, you, you hope not. Um, so the, the positives were, I think the win against Richmond. For me, the Richmond win was good. Because you got to see how they play. Carlton as well. And Collingwood game. Now that pissed me off. But. Because of the way that we play. But credit to them. They play really well. And, and their kids are going to shine like. Stephen Day and. They had some senior players leaving, unfortunately, but they're going to be good. I think in the next couple of years. So, I feel like that's going to be interesting. So... The, the worst games I've had, I think the Brisbane game, I think the Port Adelaide game as well. I think they might have beat Adelaide, or, or the, I know they lost Adelaide. But you want to see some effort in that performance next year. Hopefully, uh, seven wins. I say... Nine to ten wins. And hopefully you play what? Well, Twenty games. See. If you had like a nine wins and couple couple of those losses and maybe either draw or something. How uh, that you still got a reasonable good chance as well. Um, 
So, so what I want to see from them next year is obviously push for finals. Um, do I believe in them? Do I get hoodwink, as Rocco would like to say, when it comes to Carlton? No, I don't think I have been. I don't, th I don't think I have been. I, th I thought that the place on the list is important, I, th I feel, to get that result. And, you know, it's going to show for next year. So how do I rate the season? Oh, do I rate it? Do I rate it harshly because that the, the, the early starts is always good. Like, they always have a good early start. I feel like if they can... If they can evenly get that win-loss record early on in the season, halfway through the season, and the end, end of the season, that's more consistency. And, and that's an issue that I feel... We need to see that more from the Gold Coast Suns. If we can see that, nine times out of ten, you get good results out of that. The pressure will be on should you next year, I feel. Um, if we don't see that improvement, I think that's the way how we go about it. Oh, I'm going to give them for me, and I'll let you guys have your say, a 3 out of 10. The reason why, I think this team can show me more. Like, bottom three is a good result, but we need, yeah, it isn't a good result, I should say, but we want to see them improve. And if we don't, what the AFL is going to do, because that's when I was like and jumping. This is the team that they wanted in. So I hope you guys do like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Um, until next time, go the mighty pies for 2022. I'm gonna have to start doing this um, play ratings. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do them separate. So I'll go through the stats on what I've got. Compare them to last year. And if they haven't played last year, I go by what I've seen this year. So that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to happen to be in this case. But I feel like we need to see it. So until next time. Bye, Ron.